But my, my point that I want to make is that the youth today, you know, their, their ideology, their belief systems of what they might see on TV and rap videos and how they, they don't know how to uh, decipher what's entertainment and what's real. They might see uh, uh, some of the rappers and, and, and entertainers maybe doing a video mimicking the lifestyle of selling drugs and getting money and, and all of that. But it's entertainment. So they take that as it being real. So their mindset goes from being, uh, 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 I like that, is this glamorized, but then they also think that they can do it. And come to find out, did they see that their favorite rapper on 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 video breaking law, so they try to mimic them, and it and it comes from the that starts with their thinking. Their thinking turns into a belief. Their belief turns into a lifestyle. Their lifestyle is the behavior. So you have to start with changing their way of thinking, their perception of how they see things or how things really are, in order for them to change their their behavior and change their lifestyle. Well, one of the things that I think is important for. Um, individual parents and young people, youth, to realize, and that is that drugs are killing people today. I'm talking about dead. I'm talking about taking you permanently out of the life system, uh, out of the arena of living, out of the arena of being able to become a productive member of the community and a productive member of society. Uh, dead, not being able to grow up and, and get married or fall in love and have children, uh, to be able to travel abroad, to be able to, uh, to fulfill God's plan for you in your life. We talked about vision. Uh, the Bible says without a vision, the people perish. Uh, 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 I believe that we as, 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 as mentors and as adults, uh, we need uh, to prescribe certain processes for our children. We need to make certain requirements of our children uh, that they get up and that they, 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 they learn discipline, that they learn that they need, that they have to go to school, that they have to make their bed, that they have certain, certain uh, chores to do in the house, that once they get to be a certain age, that they need to get out and start working and have a work ethic. They need to be able, we need to teach them how to save money, teach them how to tithe, teach them uh, how to write a check, uh, let them know exactly uh, what, it, what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it means to pray. I think that we have to be a living witness, a living example of success ourselves in order for them to do that. And many times, uh, I, as a pastor, I found out that even, even parents, uh, I was talking with someone uh, the other, uh, just three, three, four days ago, we were talking about someone that they knew who was getting high with their son. I mean, that is just totally asinine. Uh, I don't care even drinking with your children, uh, going, whoring around with your children, uh, lying, stealing with you. I mean, committing crime with, with your children is totally demonic. And so my, my prayer is, is, is that God will be able to use us at the House of Hope. God will be able to use our ministry. God will be able to use this broadcast uh, to be able uh, 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 to prevent uh, our young people from dying, prevent our young people from be, uh, being uh, uneducated and miseducated. Go ahead. Well, I have my, my, I have some thoughts on that. I was talking to a, a friend of mine, Tia Blues, uh, uh, LCSWC, licensed uh, clinical social worker certified, and she works for the Baltimore Child uh, Abuse uh, CPS down in um, Baltimore City. And um and I was talking to her um last night on the phone and I asked her well, what where where is the uh, the problem at you know with with our youth she said well it starts in the home 